My name is Lindsay James and I am a first grade special education teacher here at James Madison Primary. A typical day in my room is a lot of energy, a lot of fun. I want the kids to come in my room and feel like they're in Disney World. Her ideas inspire me and inspire the things that we do. We're making memories for these kids that I don't think they'll ever forget. There's students in my classroom who have autism. I know eventually my students are going to find out you know, they have autism, so I want their first exposure and their first experience learning about it to be a positive one. I had this book written tentatively, and then two years ago, my fiance actually passed away. And when he passed away, I woke up and I was like, anything that I ever wanted to accomplish, I had to accomplish now. So um, I wrote the book. I guess it was on the crossroads of like my passion for teaching and like my love for my fiance and his daughter and everything kind of just like merged into one. Autism is underrepresented in children's literature and in literature as it is. So I wanted to write a great story that any, you know, any child could read um, that talks about acceptance every step of the way I involve my students. The classroom in the story is actually my classroom. So when my students pick up the book, they say, oh wow, this is our classroom right here. If anyone were to take away something from my story, it would be that not only should we accept people with autism, but we need to be accepting of everybody and anybody who's different than you, and that you know their label shouldn't define them. I had a friend of a friend read their, this story to their son, who's about a preschool age, and told their son at the same time that they have autism. And at the end, he said the A in autism stands for awesome, so um, he really felt good about himself after he read the story. That's probably the best compliment that I could ever receive. My name is Lindsay James, and I am the Edison Public Schools.